Okay, we're back on the Hotmail using email. Now, what we said is if we want to create an email, we go to new, and then we type in, if, we, if the people's names are already saved on our system, we type in the first letter, like S for Salima, um, and then the name shows up and you click on it. Let's just delete that for a minute and type a one in case we're doing a new one that you don't have them in your computer. Let's say we don't have the people in your computer. Let's type uh, send one to Adam. Then Adam at ekismo.com. So you type in the email. Adam at ekismo.com. You need the people's email and then click uh, the subject for the subject. This is a test or just my test. Okay. Now this is all we have to really do to create the email. In the big white area, all you have to do is type your letter, your document, or whatever information you want. Right, hello and so on. Now, I want to show this. We want to send them a document. So, to send a document, which is called an attachment, click on the attachment. Okay, that's the attachment button. Once you touch on the attachment, then we go to the library and we try to find where we left our documents. Let's see if we find any document. Oh, the document. There's a folder on the right says document. Click on document. Oh, we got one here. So we click on this one and then go open. And you're gonna see it says uploading. It means we have to wait till it actually completes. Okay, now you see it doesn't say uploading. It has 547.2 KBs. It means the attachment is when you see a number. It that means it's finished uploading. You can send the document out. Before it was saying uploading, now it actually has the information. So you can send as much attachment, means documents, right? Up to 25 megabytes. You see right now it's only 547.2 uh, kilobytes. Where the documents would be? That was stored in your, in your document folder. On your computer. On your computer. When you save a document. Uh, it will be saved on the computer in the document folder. There's a document folder. Let's go back again, click for another one. So you click <coughs> attachment. Click, you see on the, on the left side, left side, in your library. No, go to document. Well, there's nothing else in there. Yeah, so it says document. Do you have no other place for document? Nope. No. No, no, no. Just send the same yeah. one. If you save any documents, they'll be in your document folder. That's automatic. So there's nothing else you have saved. Where do you save? Um, well, we're going to, um, when we go to Microsoft Word or something, you're going to see how to save when you save a document. So you see, she attached the same thing twice just to show you you make the attachment. Okay, so now you mark send. Send and then okay, hold on. To keep the, this per anytime, once you go send, to add the people onto your address book. So, you guys, guys, um, you know, guys, put the name, the first quiet, name, please. Put the first name of the uh, contact and the last name of your contact. And what this does is adds it automatically to your address book. So, anytime you want to send that, uh, that, that customer or that client, you type their name and the name will show up. You don't have to type it again. So that's what that part does. It puts it into your address book, your call address book. Now that, that email was sent. If you want to see if it was sent, you go on the left side under sent. Click under sent and you see, okay, let's see on the top one. It says Adam at ekismo.com and it has a paper clip. The paper clip, you see the paper clip it has? Mean, anytime you see a paper clip means there's an attachment. The one underneath, just move your hand. You see the one underneath? There's nothing there. That means there's just a strict, you type some information. Just strict text. No attachment. Attachment, if you go further down, you're going to see there's attachments. All those things means attachment. So this is in your send out log. Uh, go back up. Go back into the in log. You see? Adam. Okay. Now, if we go to a draft, let's look at the next one. Oh, no, next one is junk. Go to junk. You should always check your junk folder because sometimes you get information uh, that accidentally goes. Somebody sent you an email and you don't find it. 
because it sends it to the jump folder. So what you have to do is um, check if it's not in your jump folder. Adam. How do you check the jump um, On the left side, you click on the jump. Mm. You see, jump has 141 jump inside. Okay, well, I'll no, no, no it, it's stored there. What you can do is go in there and it's scan through all of them. Go down and see if there's anything that you need. Anything in there? Okay, let's, let's delete. Adam, go in the other room. Um, let's see now. These are all stuff that you don't need, right? What if it's DaveCroft.com? Uh, His newsletter. Yeah, I'm trying to keep those there. Okay, move that one. So move it, you click on it. Oh. We want to move it. Yeah, you can move this message to your inbox. The third one? Yeah. Okay, go back to that one. Okay, so let's see, let's go down, let's see, we're going to delete. Any other? No. Any other email? Any other? Do you want to save? Uh, I'm not sure. I have a, I have a okay. Well, you can go through it. Let's say that's like web support. Let's look at the first one. Click on it. We want to delete it because it's garbage and the sweet steak for a laptop. Okay, and um, so what you do is you click on it, the ones you want to delete it, you press the word delete and it's gone. Let's find something else, like WC, you go straight WC. Click, click, click on the ones you want to delete, press delete on top, and it's gone. Go again, go record it. If you don't do that, they all stay in your memory. Yeah, it's going to take up a lot of your space, and um, if you don't need it. They, these, when you press delete, it goes into your delete, and then you delete when you delete. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to reach delete yeah. Okay. Okay. So you just go through, delete whatever you don't want to delete, and then um, we deal with that later on. Now, next one is the draft. Draft is ones that you're sending out. There's ones that you're sending out, right? That you didn't set up like you you started typing you start, it but you never finished it so it saves it in the draft for example you get Mazdora wiring instruction is in draft um, you actually we actually moved it we moved into draft okay so draft means it just stays there it hasn't gone anywhere uh, next one is sent out or send. Send, it just keeps a log of every email that you sent out. So if somebody say you didn't send it, you can type it in and send it out. Or you can check in there if it's there. And then the next one is uh, delete. Okay, all these you've deleted. Eventually you delete to be so big, you have to delete them. And if you want to do we're going to delete them now by clicking. We're going to empty the... Um, Okay. You click on the thing on top and just delete. But don't boil it in a in a boil it in a glass. You can press delete. Well you got you can only delete one at a time. No, you, you can do one at a time or you click that box that says all A L L and it will grab everything on the screen. And then you, then it goes to the next screen, you do the same thing. But you see, as she's doing that and delete, um, the count is 116. Now it's going to go down. Okay, she deleted all of them now. So there's no more delete. Next one is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is uh, we kept the agreement from Norman in there. Um, these are real estate, next is real estate, next is Zeke. These are folders that you're keeping uh, your information that you don't want to get deleted. In your current email, every email that comes in, um, into the in folder, so you got 1,123. Eventually when it's full, it starts deleting from a week ago, or two, three weeks ago, from the bottom coming up. So anyone that you really want to keep, they go into the inbox again. Let's say we wanted, um, I don't know.
some email the Chase. Let's say Chase and the day of the account, right? We want to move that one or drag it. You can drag it. Drag it into miscellaneous. Okay, click on miscellaneous. You see, we, we put it here. Once it's in those folders, that miscellaneous real estate or Zeke, right? It will never be deleted. It'll stay there forever until you delete it. So anything you want to save from the inbox, uh, you want to have it move to one of those folders. Miscellaneous real estate or Zeke. So you have to spend a day go through your emails mm. and see which one you want to um, keep. You just click on it and drag it straight over to miscellaneous real estate or Zeke rewards. And then it, then it won't be deleted. It will stay permanently there. So if, if um, an email has a, a video on it, mm -hmm. can I save that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can save it by dragging it and put it into miscellaneous. You have saved the email, but you can't. You, the email will have the video attachment, but wherever they host the video, it, as long as they're still hosting it, when you click on that email and go to the video, it will be there. But if they take the video down at their end, there's nothing you can do as well. Like yeah, that's a different story. You have to we talk about that um, after. Let's just cover the um, these are the basic stuff here. I think we covered all the basic stuff, right? Um, what else is there? Let me see. Okay, see if we have any um, go down any PDF or uh, see if he's got any attachments. Let's Can I just do PDF. it a quick way? No, no, just go down. Over. You know at the bottom there's some arrows. If you want to, you click on the arrow, that side, and it goes or older, 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 older. We show them when you go down. Once you see, you see this. Okay, hold on. You see the way. Okay. You see the arrow? One to the right, one to the left. Look what it says at page four of 130. You have 136 pages. So if I go to the right, it's gonna click one. Which one? This left. Go to the right, yes. And then and go to the bottom, you're going to see the count's going to have page 5 of 136. And if I go back, if I click on the left one, it will go back to page 4. You see what I mean? Two arrows, both I received, gone back to page 4. If I wanted to go to the very, very end, then that thing at the end. You see what's thing, this thing at the end? Look at the thing at the end. And that will bring me to the page, go down to the bottom. See, I'm on page 136, the very last page. Then you can go from the end coming backwards by deleting what you don't want, by saving what you want. Okay, there's a whole day job. But you got to spend the time to go and then save what files you want because if you lose the files, well, you lost the files. And if you could save some of the things that you require, then there's no problem. We find any PDF thing in there? Okay, now this is anytime you see PDFs, the red page, you click download. PDF is the document. Right, is a document. So P, anything you see PDF is on a page flip is is a document. So you open it and it has a close that one or Go another one. What do you mean? Then another attachment. Because this one has um actually these are ready for you anyway. No no, just go to open another email. Go back in. That one, I, where was that one we just did? Right here. Save that into the miscellaneous because that's your uh, EIN number. That's an important one. Try this one. Open. Anytime you see the, the page, um, paper clip means there's an attachment. Uh, you click on it, repeat it.
Questo lo vedo. Okay. There's an application from the Royal Bank. Okay, now we don't you don't need this right now, don't it? Okay. What about saying they printed out with the drums? Um, they close this one off then. Hey guys, hey, when you hit the camera, the thing is going out. Okay, yeah, one another one. Hmm? Oh, go to another one. Um, actually, okay, to the water. Boys, can you give us a, a few minutes? You go, go inside the area. You don't want to mess up this thing, right? Eh? Ezra, please come out here from the moment. Leave us for, for, for a while. You can come back after, okay? Go in the kitchen and eat something. I can't. It's loading. Hmm? It's loading. Okay. So, anytime you see the page flip, it has to do with a document. The document, when it comes up, we want to print something so we can go through the printing, the cover your printing called PDF. Hmm. And then we got to look for a video. So we can do a video to, to see what we can do with video. Okay, um, I have a, a thing here to print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't get that now. Just go down one. No, it's connected. It works now, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. Back. No, no, not all the way. So you might have something recent that you want to print it out. Let me see this. Let me see that red right down. Alright. Thank you.